to go back to um, one of the things earlier is that some people are just more fearful um, and that can allow them to put up a certain barrier where you know like they, they feel like they're keeping themselves safe of not letting um, too many people in or not letting too much of themselves themselves out um, and other people are just kind of like hey you know I'm I've been a dork for the last 25 years I'm comfortable with it now like I'm just gonna let my you know my dork flag fly and, mm -hmm. and whatever happens happens as a to those people who might be a little bit closed off so I think that that could be one thing um, and also that I think like you need the help of how you were raised to be really like really really good at it because um, it starts pretty early of you know of the idea of like sharing your thoughts and, and being open to other people when when someone's talking it's probably a good rule to like shut up and listen you know and uh, to allow it to affect you and, and things like that so whether it's innate or um, nurtured, I think that helps some people, and it takes other people a little bit, a little bit longer. You know? mm -hmm. um, and, and and neither of them are wrong. People learn at their own at their own pace. You know, um, but you get kind of hoisted on your own petard a few times. Like you learn way more from a bad scene than a good scene, and so. Sometimes it takes a couple of years of real shitty scenes to be like, oh, that's not my partner. I'm the one who's messing that up all the time by, by setting up setting up these these walls. You know? The sooner you can break them down, the more the, the easier the time you're gonna have just kind of interacting with, with other characters in the scene. Mm -hmm.